Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss the protection coordination schemes used in low voltage motor starters for industrial motors in case of a short circuit fault. These protection schemes are characterized as type 1 and type 2 coordination by the IEC. In the first part of the video, we will try to understand the difference between these coordination schemes as per the criteria defined by the IEC. And in the next part, we will try to see which scheme is better for industrial applications. Before discussing the coordination schemes, it is necessary that we revisit our basic understanding about the structure of low voltage motor starters, which are also called motor control centers or MCCs. A motor starter consists of two main power components, a protection device and a control device. Protection device, which is a motor protection circuit breaker, provides protection against the motor overload and short circuit current. This kind of protection is also called thermal magnetic protection, where thermal protection is for the overload condition and the magnetic protection refers to short circuit condition. Control device, which is a contactor, starts motor based on defined logic, either locally at the MCC or remotely from the control station. We can also notice that based on the selection of power components, starters can be segregated as two component or three component. When thermal magnetic protection is provided by a motor protection circuit breaker, then the starter is referred as two component starter. Your circuit breaker is the first component and the contactor is the second component. When the circuit breaker or a fuse disconnector provides the short circuit protection and the thermal protection is covered separately through an overload relay, then it is called a three component MCC. Your circuit breaker or fuse disconnector is the first component, contactor is the second component and the overload relay is the third component. These protection and control devices are installed together in an enclosure to form a motor control center. In the low voltage switchgear, these MCCs can either be withdrawable type or a fixed type based on the application and the end user requirement. As defined in IEC 60947-4-1, there are two protection schemes for the low voltage starters. These are called the type 1 and type 2 coordination. These coordination criteria defines the behavior of a starter in case of a short circuit fault in the system. In case of a short circuit fault, type 1 coordinated starters will protect the person and surrounding equipment from damage. However, after the fault, the starter may not remain in service condition due to damage of certain components. Type 2 coordinated starters in case of a short circuit fault will protect the person and surrounding equipment from damage, same as type 1 starters. However, after the fault, the starters will remain in service condition. It is important to note that to drive these definitions and performance measure for the motor control centers, IC considered the utilization category AC3, which is specified for the operation of squirrel cage motors. Now we are going to discuss the difference between the coordination schemes based on the effect of short circuit fault on different starter components according to IEC 60947-4-1. Starters of both the coordination types are capable of successfully interrupting the fault current through short circuit protection device. In both the coordination schemes, no substantial damage to the enclosure will happen. Doors and covers will remain intact. It will remain possible to open the enclosure doors after the short circuit fault for inspection and further operation. Conductor and associated terminals are selected in a manner that there will be no damage to these. Short circuit protection device which can be a circuit breaker or fuse disconnector is so selected that there will not be any damage to it and it will remain secure to the mounting arrangement. However, fuse links need replacement after the short circuit fault. In type 1 coordination, contactor may get damage and needs repair or replacement. In type 2 coordination, there will not be any damage to the contactor. In type 1 coordination, overload relay may get damage and needs replacement. In type 2 coordination, there will not be any damage to the overload relay. Due to probable damage of contactor and overload relay, type 1 coordinated starters can go out of service. However, type 2 coordinated starters will remain in service condition. In order to develop further understanding about the behavior of the starter components during the short circuit fault, we are considering an example of 5.5 kW direct online starter. The rating of power components considered for both type 1 and type 2 coordination are shown here. 
We have discussed earlier that during a short circuit fault, contactor and thermal overload relay are two components which creates difference between the type 1 and type 2 coordination. If we study coordination schemes from different manufacturers, we can see that most of the time it is the contactor which plays an important role to differentiate between the type 1 and type 2 coordination. From our example, we have considered the same circuit breaker and thermal overload relay for both type 1 and type 2 coordination. However, 12 amp contactor is used in type 1 coordination and 25 ampere contactor is used in type 2. By looking at the technical data sheets, the rated short time withstand current of 25 ampere contactor is almost twice as compared to 12 amp contactor. Therefore, the higher withstand capacity of contactor used in type 2 starter will bear the short circuit current during the fault condition, whereas the contactor used in type 1 starter may get damaged. It is also important to mention that these coordination schemes are largely dependent on the designed ambient temperature and IP class of the switchboard. As the installed components derates with the increase in ambient temperature and IP class. For the type tested switchgear solutions, these derating factors have been taken care by the manufacturers. In the last part of our video, we will try to compare the coordination types with respect to the advantages and disadvantages to the end user. In addition to type 1 and type 2 coordination, we are considering two more classes, which are no coordination and total coordination. No coordination can be considered a non-type tested solution, which is not tested according to IEC 60947-4-1 criteria. Since this solution is not tested to measure the performance, therefore in case of a short circuit, there is a big risk involved. It can cause harm to the person working nearby the starter and can also cause damage to the installation. Therefore, it is not recommended by IEC to install a non-coordinated solution. Type 1 solution has lesser cost, however, on the other hand, it is not a reliable solution with respect to continuity of service. Type 2 solution is expensive as compared to type 1 solution. Advantage is, it brings reliability in the system and provides continuity of service and brings increased productivity to the manufacturing operations. Total coordinated solution is used for services where continuity of supply is the highest priority and cost is not considered as an option. This solution brings highest reliability in the system but is the most expensive of all solutions. Now we will discuss the application of starters with respect to different coordination schemes. We will not discuss the non-coordination approach as it is not recommended to use by the IEC. Type 1 coordination is for general purpose application motors which are not involved in any industrial process. Type 2 coordination is for motors which are part of industrial process and unavailability of these motors will result in discontinuation of industrial process. Total coordinated starters are used for application involved emergency services such as the firefighting pumps as here highest reliability is required and cost is not considered as an option. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box. Please also let me know if you need information about any other topic. I will try to cover it in my next vlogs. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos. Thank you.